Good boy. Ready to go to Florida? What's up, man? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Tay Many. Y'all already know when I get on YouTube, it do get crazy, man. As y'all can see, for my people that's following my social media, man, I posted up a quality, quality, quality exotic bully for sale, man. And I rarely post adult dogs. I'm only really selling puppies. And, um, well, really not. He He's kind of still a puppy, but y'all already know it. He's nine months, and y'all already know exotics don't really grow out to eight months. So... Well, it do get crazy when I just taught y'all something for the people that didn't know that. Exotics don't really grow out the uh, nine, eight months. They really just start maturing more. They really don't get like taller or nothing like that. So, in my opinion, when a dog is not going to grow no more, that's almost considered an adult because that's his actual size. But anyways, I don't really, I barely post adult dogs. But anyways, man, if you're not following me on social media, if you're not following my bully page, if you're not following my regular um, IG page, or if you're not subscribed to this channel, do that right now. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share this video, all that good stuff, and then hit the notification bell because I be lit over here. It do get crazy over here. But look, check this out. Um, Yeah, man, sh the dog is actually sold already. And um, as you can tell from this thumbnail, if I put it on there, I ain't for sure what the thumbnail will be, but the dog is actually sold, man. I posted the dog for sale, man, and it sold in actually two days, man. Shout out to everybody that's following the movement. Shout out to everybody that's rocking with the camp, man. Everybody just rocking with me. Everybody that's getting crazy with me, you man. Man, shout out to y'all. But uh, yeah, um, exotic bully Bullato from out of Florida. That's the camp that actually bought him. I'm actually take a picture and put it in this video. But uh, yeah, that's who actually grabbed him, man. They actually put a deposit down on him. And uh, I'm not going to disclose how much they paid for the dog just for, uh, you know, they business and my business privacy type thing. I don't want to post it. But uh, just know they cashed me out, man. They gave me a uh, deposit. Just actually got off the phone with him. Well, he texted me a couple minutes ago, said that uh, he'll be out here on the 20, I think the 24th. Anyways, he is coming away from Florida to get the dog. Uh, Y'all know I usually just meet at the airport or whatever, but... He's actually flying out to get the dog. I like that even better because I get to meet the actual buyer. I get to check, you know, uh, talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. He get to see what he paying for firsthand. But everybody that know, man, Out the Bud Bully Camp is not just selling a dog. We're not just selling about exotic bullies over here. We actually selling a brand. So when I sell you some or you get some from me, a puppy, whatever, trust and believe it's quality. Speaking of quality, let's see what they pay for. All right, now I know a lot of guys get online, man, and they talking about quality. You know what I'm saying? What is a quality bull? A lot of people throw that word around, and um, I just feel like they don't really know what it means because, and I ain't judging nobody, but I mean, common sense is tell you'll be able to tell the difference between a quality bull and you know, shit, a not quality bull. <laughs> But anyways, uh, and I'm not judging nobody because I didn't start off with quality. That's something that you got to learn. That's something that you got to grow. And and you know what I mean with the bully game. But anyways, when I talk talk quality, you know what I mean? And uh, especially when it comes to pedigrees, somebody can say, hey, this is a such and such, son. When I talk quality, I mean that dog got to, you know what I mean? It got to have them features that his pedigree got, that his dad got. Now, Everybody know uh, the dog that I sold is a, a Doughboy son, which is a uh, Sensei and Paintball blood. And on the mama side, you got Bape. Everybody knows Sensei. Sensei already known for body. You know what I'm saying? That's body. So check this boy out right here. Look at him. You see those rears? See those fronts? And then I want y'all to peep something else. Look at his feet. Look how his feet straight. They not turning left or right he don't got easty westy you know what i mean look check him out i just i'm holding this on there purposely for y'all to see the body now when you want a quality bull you definitely want structure structure is a must you know what i'm saying second thing is temperament you don't want an aggressive dog you know what i mean they they you don't want the dog to be Super hyper. I mean some that you could teach them, but whatever you do don't you don't want aggressive Aggressive gonna get you kicked out of dog shows. It's gonna you know It's gonna damage other dogs and it's also gonna stop people from wanting to buy your blood because it's aggressive 
No. Look at this boy temperament. He calm, he cool. You know, he 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 really dog show ready. He already stacking. You know, but it's natural. That's natural. That come with the breed. That come with the structure. So I really don't gotta do too much. You know what I mean? As far as making them look good for the show or making them look good for the picture. He gonna naturally do it. And he outside, y'all. Buy it, no leash, no nothing. D boy. He thinking I'm calling. Hey boy, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Now, something else that get uh passed around in the bully game, if you ask me, is color. Now, that's one of the easiest things to get. So, you know what I mean? Color is not a, not a real big deal. It's only, you wanna get structure first, then the color, you know what I mean? So, and the reason I brought up color is because if you look at him, he fully suited. You know, that's a plus when it comes to the bullies. A lot of our dogs, um, I'm not gonna say our, but a lot of bullies in the game is pie ball. Not saying there's nothing wrong with pie ball, but that's just something that's looked down upon in the bully game. So when you want to breed to a stud, you don't want no pie ball dog. I mean, well, I can't say that because Marshmallow is pie ball, but, and he created some monsters for me, but you, you kind of get where I'm going with this, man. Like if you can avoid it, basically I'm trying to point out that this boy got the features of an excellent stud. That's basically what I'm trying to point out. He's full suited, you know what I'm saying? Lilac too. So that's considered color in the, in the game. Now, another thing that I want to point out on this boy, look at the tail. He got a, come here, look at that tail. He don't got no long, he don't want me to touch it, but he ain't got no long, bushy tail, you know what I mean? He got the short. It's a, well, the tail is just short, you know what I mean? But it's short and pointy, how the terriers is. You know, that was one of the, that was one of the uh, things that the bull terriers carried. So, that's a plus when it comes to the exotics because a lot of our exotics don't got tails. So if you're looking to breed to a dog, you want to get one with a tail, one with color, one with good temperament, and also nice structure on them. And also another thing that you want to worry about when you breed is function functionable. Because a lot of the exotics is very, very uh, non-functional, should I functional, should I say, man. They can't really move. They can't really walk. And, you know, if they walk them out, they can't breathe and, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, that's why a lot of our exotics been passing away. But especially with this Texas heat, they can't be outside like that. Look at him. He tired. But let me show you all he run. Come on, boy. Let's go. Look how good he look, y'all. Now I'm finna kneel down and call him and he gonna come to me. Watch. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. Look at that walk on him though. Straight, steady. Still got the structure. So that lets you know it ain't photoshopped or I ain't make him stand like that. He's naturally like that. Come on, let's go. Good boy. And he's super small. He crazy small, y'all. Come here, boy. He being lazy today, y'all. But, uh, yeah, he's super small, man. All I can really say, point out, man, shout out to Exotic Bully, Bull Lotto Camp, man. They came. They definitely got them a good dog, man. They got them a good stud. And I know he gonna do good things for the camp. Not only is that, he probably gonna do good things for a lot of other camps because... Like I say, he a stud, man. He can um, he can throw off what he got. And uh, put him on a leash. Come on, boy. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Just put him on this leash, y'all, to show he functionable he can walk because i hear a lot of can them little dogs walk man can them little dogs move 
If you breeding right, they'll be able to do all that. He walk like a little gorilla, y'all. <laughs> Good boy. Come on. Yeah, there's wind blowing. I got my mic on. I hope it's working. Good boy. Ready to go to Florida? I'm definitely going to miss him, man. And I know a lot of y'all, like, you know, I, I know a lot of y'all probably wondering, like, because I know I would be, you know what I mean? Like, if Tay, if he's such a good dog, why get rid of him? Why sell him? You know what I'm saying? And honestly and truth be told it took me a long time to decide if i was gonna get rid of him or not and the reason i got rid of him the reason i decided to because in reality him and motion is like twins they look just alike you know what i'm saying motion just i mean he got features that motion don't got motion don't got a tail but he do uh they both got the crazy structure. Motion is a little bit smaller than him. Just a little bit, but they really identical. Same color and everything. So, And I'm only pushing motion as my stud. I really don't want to push two studs that's identical, that's looking alike. You know what I mean? I just don't want to do that. I feel like that's making room. And plus, I'm, I got two more litters coming up that uh, I can make room for if I want to keep something out those litters. You know what I'm saying? Most likely, I will because it ain't been a litter yet that I ain't keep some. But, so, but I will... Be looking out for those litters because y'all already know, man. Every litter that I have, I do a raffle for one puppy, at least one puppy out of each litter. So give everybody opportunity to have, you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollar dog for a little bit of nothing. Everybody can't win, but somebody will. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the two lucky winners that uh have won so far. And I hope them uh and I check in on their pages to look at the dogs and make sure they treating them right, but so far, I've been, you know, so far, everybody that got some quality uh, dogs from me, man, they actually take care of them. But I, w I wish, I hope, well, hope you would, though, because these dogs ain't cheap. And y'all understand why. People, especially people that's getting into the breed, man, this is actually like an investment. It's just like having a company, but you're doing what you love because you got to have a passion for this to end up in order to do it. You can't just buy two bullies and think you're going to get rich. It don't work that way. But uh, especially if you want to create a, a name for yourself because everybody can sell a bully, but... Can you sell a bully to where people gonna want to come back or they friends or you know what I mean or, or something like that so and just for example I was able to put that dog up and it sold within a couple days to somebody that's 15 states over you know what I'm saying that's the type of name you want to put out there so people will do that for you so yeah man definitely tap in with the camp man like comment share on this video man share your thoughts yeah, but man, make sure you get on the video. Uh, let me know what you think of D-Boy. Let me know do you think I should have sold him or should I kept him. You know what I'm saying? Would you pick him over D-Boy if you was going to keep one? You know, just stuff like that, man. I appreciate. I look at all y'all comments. I, I try to respond to y'all inputs, man. But yeah, appreciate y'all watching the video, especially if you got this far, man. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, next time this video come on, I mean, next time you see this, I was finna say he'd probably be in Florida, but I'm gonna actually do a vlog with with the uh, buyers once they get here. So y'all be looking out for that video too, man. Okay, bye.